And up cool. next, AJ. Are you ready? Hit me. Hit me. How far back are we going? How far back are we going? Well, unfortunately, it's not 10 years. It's 20. Oh, dear. These are the ones that scare me because it's... it's oh, oh, oh. Don't bless you. It's when you're, you're mm-hmm. somewhat at a coming of age. You feel like you, you're there and then you realise, oh, God, well, I came to age a long time ago. <laughs> that, that's what I hate about 20s. This is it. This is it. And, bro... It's one that's near and dear to us, this one. But, you know, we're titling the video just how bad was this movie because for some reason it gets hate. I can't understand it. And today we're asking, 20 years old, just how bad was the butterfly effect? That is nuts to think that the butterfly effect is 20 years old. It is. It, it's, <laughs> it is, it's really weird. And, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm very aware that Ashton Kutcher is a parent multiple times. I believe multiple times as it stands. But I still picture that dude from Dude Where's My Car, that dude from that 70s show. And here we are saying that, was, that is 20 years ago. Insane. Yeah. That, that, that's mad. Um. A different concept of time travel and stuff. It, it was a, it's a very, very interesting take of a film. Don't get me wrong, Donnie Darko of that, I believe it would have been that kind of thing, era and time, is the one that stands out to me as, like, oh, this is new, this is fantastic. But yeah, right. what I, more than anything, more than anything, I wasn't the biggest. Uh, I haven't seen Dude Where's My Car. I've seen clips of Dude Where's My Car on Sky movies back in the day. Funny enough, this is I saw the Sky. I didn't go to the cinema for this. But <laughs> it's such, it's not a you movie that one. It's a complete stoner movie. Oh, well, listen, I've seen I've seen parts. I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. I've just never been able to catch it from the beginning. That that's the funny thing about it. I mean, <laughs> you didn't miss but, anything. So I, I, I'm very aware. <laughs> I didn't go rushing to see it either. Like, oh my god, I missed the beginning. I need to see what it's coming on next. I'm very aware. I'll catch it when I catch it. One thing I really, really, really like about the um, butterfly effect is I saw a different side to Ashton Kutcher because he was mm. the stone of the guy. He was the idiot of that 70s show. And I wasn't too sure how much I liked Ashton Kutcher, if I'm 100% honest. I'm like, he's not I my kind that. of guy. He, he, he's very different. And then this film came out. And then, like, you know, years later, I'm seeing him play Steve Jobs. And I'm like, fantastic performance. But when this came out, I was like, oh, that, that guy's just too... I don't like loud. I don't like loud, which is weird because I'm a big Jim Carrey fan. But like when you're loud and dumb, it just, <laughs> I just like, it doesn't always work for me. And I, that was it. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, you've given me something different. And I enjoyed the difference that he gave me. And that's what I like about this film. That's what always stands out to me about Butterfly Effect. Yeah, look, everyone knows the chaos theory. A butterfly flaps its wings in one place and a tornado is created somewhere else. It's essentially a very, very pompous way of saying cause, effect, action, reaction, right? And time travel, kind of. um, It was the loosest term I could think. Not that you're wrong with time travel. It it definitely uses time travel on, on a surface level, but it's very much showing what happens if you do, you know, if I put the, if I put the microphone here instead of, here how is that going to affect multiverse theory but how is that going to affect the other worlds around me how's that going to affect my future how is that going to affect who i become will putting my phone over here completely change the outcome of existence the butterfly effect says yes but we just don't know how right and this movie very very liberally plays with that concept in all sorts of fun and creative ways such as him going back to his high school years and having to live those out such as going back to his early early years where he was abused by a pedophile when he loses his arms when he makes decisions that result in his girlfriend ending up being a hooker and like it's kind of zany and out there one instance where he ends up in prison like it just says how how far can we really push this madness? And yeah. listen, people didn't like it. Let's let's watch the trailer and just and just see maybe if we can figure out why that was. Because going off memory, I still really dug this. Um, actually, just before I do, let me just get the trailer ready so it's not uh, having any of those. Yeah, there you go. Ads playing for it. So that's what we're gonna get rid of. 
you don't get ads on my channel. You must be joking. I'm not doing an ad. An, imagine this, AJ, an ad within an ad. We're inception in YouTube ads here. Uh, but yeah, trade is ready here. Let's have a look at this bad boy and just see how bad it really is, if at all. Uh, okay, and ready? Let's go. Let's go. People want to get the back. New line, Remember, makers of Lord of the Rings. You said those blackouts. Oh, Amy well, smiled. Some of those memories have been coming back to me. There are moments in life we choose to remember in a world. I love Amy Smart. I really do. We can never forget. All I know is that by reading these journals, I might be able to get Kaylee back. I'd think twice about what you're doing. You could wake up a lot more messed up than oh, you wow. are. Oh, wow. You think Yeah. I haven't seen yourselves like this before. But what if you could go back in time? You are completely relaxed. Think of it like a movie. You can pause, rewind, or slow down. Could you save the one person that mattered the most? Honey, you're... I'm just, yeah, nothing but good memories. Incredible. Yeah, this is when I he was there. Uh, and I'm not losing you again. This is when I it was mean, all good. You lost me. What are you just talking about? You got nice life. You stay away from us. Yeah. It's been a while since I... Oh, wow. It's been Kaylee? a while. Right? He's a stain. If I go back to the beginning, I might be able to save her. Just tell me if you see anything weird. Weirder than this. Oh, wow. Hey. Look at all these young actors. Three fame people. And there she is, all messed up. Happy ones. With me. Why do you go back and save me? How are you doing this? You wouldn't believe me if I told oh, you. Jesus, was that Eric Stones? You can't change who people are without destroying who they were. Every time I try to go back in time and help someone, everything just goes wrong. <laughs> Oh my God! What did we do? You can't play God. The butterfly effect. <laughs> I love it. The butterfly effect. It's just so it's such an air of God of, of advert. It really is. In a world where there are butterflies, <laughs> it's it, it, yeah. Listen, it's you. You can tell even by the way the trailer's made. It's very, very twenty years old, isn't it? Dude, um, yeah, I'll continue to defend this movie. It's 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 this type of movie doesn't get made anymore. It's not indie. It's not triple A. This is what you call a double A. My middle ground movies, as I like to call them. Yeah, all day long. And this is the kind of films I miss. Yeah, it's the kind of films I miss. It doesn't have to be selling out left, right, and center, and it doesn't have nope. to be too art house and be pretentious. And I'm not saying all art house films are pretentious, but you know that what's associated with art house is just a standard, easy going film that it doesn't get the whole world talking, but it's got people talking. It's something that's there. It's more, not more than it's a not stress following, following. More than a Donnie Darko following. <laughs> yeah, put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Although I think Donnie Darko with its following is now probably upgraded to double A status, but at the time, definitely all time cult movie. Oh, Look, man, I, I, I'll defend this movie till the cows come home. Maybe needs a rewatch from me to really see what people are going, but I've seen it a few times in my life. I remember enjoying it each time. It was novel. I enjoyed the performances. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I I was torn between the thumb and the thumb and a half. Um, it, it needs to be seen. It's not a must-see, like, all time. But there is a must-see, but not, like, of the, oh, my God, guys, if you missed it, you missed out. But if you are someone who doesn't need to see Crash Bang Wallop in every corner, if you are a person who likes to ask the question of what if, because this is what this film shows you. It's it's a what if essential mm -hmm. thing. And you're just out for a, a different kind of film, by all means, give it a watch. I, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with the thumbs up. I'm gonna That's go the that. That, that last thing you said is what I'm going to double down on, actually. And let's say you're even an aspiring cinephile or just someone who's trying to, you know, I remember when I turned 15 and I started, that was the point where I was like, okay, movies really are my thing. I want to watch as many movies as possible. I read Tarantino's biography, autobiography, when he listed all of his hundred movies. And that was the first list I ever saw. And I was like, okay, this list I want to get through. 
I want to I want to watch all of Tarantino's 100 movies. I don't agree with all of them, but I'm happy I saw them. And it's one of those once you start ticking off some of the really big hitters, you know, you've seen Lawrence of Arabia, you've seen Papillon, you've seen Saving Private Ryan, you've seen Zulu, Lord of the Rings, Jurassic Park. You you've seen the big hitters of cinema history and now you're like I want to go back and find some, as you call it, middle of the ground stuff. This is a good place to start, man. This is going to be one of those movies that's going to be lost in the shuffle. It's going to be forgotten to the sands of time. And it's worth a watch. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think some people, dare I say, might still have the Ashton hate. The, not, not I said I had it. I, I saw a different side. But just looking at the trailer again, some might be he was a bit too heavy on the act and he might have been overacting in parts maybe that's why the hate is there i'm not sure i'm i'm, I'm, I'm literally nitpicking what i'm saying this yeah yeah no no exactly that but where we were you know where the, the the title is just how bad was we're still on that it was middle ground it wasn't bad it's not yeah. great but it's good <laughs> do you know what i mean so like yeah i'm just trying to assess the hate while saying it's not bad it's not bad it's not great. It's not bad. It's not great. <laughs> yeah. And that will do it for another installment of Silver Screen News. Been a long one today. Um, but we did have a long, long, long Oscars debate. And I thought we actually touched on some really interesting points. Hopefully you guys stayed along for the ride and you did too. Uh, but until next week, where we will be back with our next new show, more TBT, more top 10 goodness, go and check out our top 10 live Western movies, which is... It's on the channel now. Go and enjoy it. But until next week, uh, we will see you then. I'm Nico Lero. And I'm the one AJ Anthony Jordan. Like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. If movies are your jam. See you soon, guys. Bye for now. See ya.